is the people who work here feel that they're part of a team. They have various well, tasks, uh, quite different tasks. And I suppose that making a team out of those people is quite a task. Um, it is, but the success of any hotel is the ability for all the different departments to work together as one unit. The, the guests see us as, um, as one hotel, not as separate departments, and we have to ensure that um, all departments interact and communicate and support each other fully. Um, it's not something that we struggle with. Um, we find that many of the team members work in more than one department. Um, that's beneficial to the individual and also beneficial um, to the business. Um, so we don't struggle to create a, a team environment. That's my personal view. Anyway. Um, what does the future look like for the hospitality sector in the UK? I think the hospitality sector in the UK has a, has a great future. Um, we are constantly evolving and updating the product um, the guest continually expects more from the business, so we have to, um, you know, if we're to remain ahead in the industry, we have to be at the forefront of um, new ideas, n new product offerings to the guests, and fundamentally, our success is dependent upon our ability to deliver the best service in the business. And the best service in the business is dependent upon the people that work for us. So it's, um, it, it's vital that we, that we train and develop um, the individuals and provide them with opportunity to progress and, and, and demonstrate, uh, well, to realise their full potential, really. Do you find that guests um, really become more demanding? I think it's, it's fair to say that not just in the hospitality um, industry, but in, in all service industries, um, guest, customer expectations are um, increasing all the time. And that's something that we, that we adapt to. And we have to stay one step ahead by trying to, um, trying to develop our team members in order to deliver exactly what the guest wants. Um, 24 hours a day. Um, recently you went to Germany to find staff. Could you tell us a bit about that? Certainly. Um, last week we were recruiting in Germany for team members for, not just for this property, but for other um, properties that are part of our chain in the UK. And that's a, a fairly regular activity, um, not necessarily just for myself, but for but for uh, my, my colleagues in, in, in the HR function within the business. Um, we look to find the best possible team members from anywhere anywhere in the world, really. We, we, we recruit internationally. It's an international business, and um, recruitment trips have taken place in India before, um, other parts of Europe. Um, it's... It's all about finding people that, that want to, to, to really deliver excellent customer service, excellent guest service. And um, the, the em employment market in the UK, the labour market in the UK is, is, is as you know, is tight. There's, there's very little unemployment. Um, and I think it's well known that the hospitality industry um, has lots of international employees working in it all around the world um, and w we, will, we will resource people from anywhere where it means we're, we're finding the right calibre of person. But where do you start looking then? Where do we start looking? Obviously we, we naturally start looking in our home market and many people in, in, in this hotel um, are from, from the UK and Many work within a very small distance. Sorry, many live within a very small radius of, uh, of the hotel. Um, but because of the, the, the number of people that we require, um, one of our challenges at, at the hotel is our proximity to, to London, which obviously is um, sucked many people into it, if you like, from, from the surrounding areas. Um, if the local market cannot supply the volume of 
candidates of the of, of the right caliber, then um, we 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 look anywhere. We we will look to other countries, other parts of the UK, um, and we also look to other industries as well. What sort of um, advice would you give to people in their you know when they're 18, 19, 20, and they would like to have a career in this hospitality sector? I would say one of the best things that you can do to supplement your um, your education and uh, the, the the knowledge that you will acquire as part of your um, as part of your education is to um, is to get as much practical experience as possible working in in the industry. That is something that's really important to us when we're looking to recruit people. Um, somebody that has shown that they have practical experience. Um, working in in a hotel in the hospitality industry, um, that's a real bonus to see that. So that would figure prominently on the CV of the person you'd hire. We would like to see that where possible. It's not essential if someone's at the very beginning of their career, um, but it's useful. 